Mela's guest chef, Vani Pariachi, has created a menu for the Festival of Lights and she got Michal to help her in the kitchen. Michal had made his way to Franschuk. Vani, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Welcome to Marigold. Well, now, what do you have planned for us? We have a little snack menu that we're going to be doing. We have Harepare Samusa, which is a green vegetable filling, and we have a tandoori chicken wrap, kachori, which is a little crispy basket filled with aloo choli, and chana magaj for dessert, and mango kheer. We're going to start off by marinating our chicken thighs first. So, let's start off. We can add a little bit of yogurt in first. And then I've got some garam masala. It's about a teaspoon and so cooking all the time and you tend to know the feeling of your spices. Well, this is what I love about <laughs> chefs. They just, they know. A little bit of Kashmiri spice powder. Some ginger garlic paste, which is a 50-50 ratio. So in that goes. And then I'm also gonna add mustard oil. And that adds the beautiful zinginess of this dish. And we just want a little bit of this lemon juice in. Just a few drops. A quick marinade. How long would you let it marinate for? 20 or 30 minutes. I have marinated already, so I'm off to the tandoor oven to cook that. And I'll be back. Awesome. So as you can see, I've already skewered this and I'm gonna pop this into the tandoor oven, which has a temperature of about 200 degrees. This is going to take about 20 minutes to cook, so I'm going to cover. This should be done by now, so let's have a look. Oh wow, look at that. Vani, that looks yummy. It smells amazing too. So this has cooled down a bit so I could handle it. So all I'm going to do is give it a twist and pull it away. I'll put this aside and we'll quickly whip up a cashew nut and yogurt dressing to accompany our wrap. We're going to take our cashew nuts and all I'm going to do is roast it lightly. We just want to release that beautiful, sweet nuttiness of that cashew nut. Can you smell that creaminess? The richness, through? creamy, absolutely. That's it, that's it. So, you're going to start with the dressing. Okay. So grab the batter bowl. Yes, you're going to put me to work. Yes. And spatula and then take the yogurt, put it into the batter bowl for me, please. Well, I just keep an eye on this because nuts, if you do not look after it, they can burn so quickly in an instant. To this, we're going to add a little bit of the chaat masala and you're going to give me a little pinch of the black salt. Black salt's quite pungent. I'm going to add the cashew nut. So, just gently mix and that's it. I've pre-made some romali roti. Feel that, paper thin. That Romali is means very thin. Romali means handkerchief in Hindi. Oh, is that yes. what it is? So you learn something new. <laughs> to this, we are going to add some of our dressing, just off center. I'm going to do some cucumbers, some tomatoes, a few leaves of your baby gem, and on top of that, we're going to add our chicken. I'm going to add another dollop of dressing. Do you like cashews? I do and then fold the wrap over and then all you do is you tuck in the sides and roll it as tight as possible. We're going to get four portions out of this. So cut down. All I'm going to do is... Mm, look at that. And the different colors coming through and that beautiful tandoori chicken. Yes. Just a little bit of coriander and some chaat masala the favorite spice. Just a drizzle of that. With the yogurt still more, mm -hmm. just going to put a little dollop on. And Look we, at that. That is so pretty. There we have it. What's next, Vanya? The Haribar Samosa. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So I've pre-made some pastry. But first, we are going to make our filling, our Haribar filling. We're going to add a little bit of ghee and we're going to give it a bit of a stir so it melts. And then the next is the cumin seeds. Oh, can you smell that immediately? That aroma is coming through. Some fresh green chili, a half a teaspoon of our ginger garlic puree, because you want that beautiful aromatic flavor. We're gonna put in our carrots and fine beans. The next is our peas. Add in a little bit of potatoes, and that'll give it that bulkiness that we need. And don't forget some paneer because, you know, you want to give it that 
full flavor as well. A good pinch of salt. We're going to add a good dollop of our spinach puree and I've used baby English spinach. We blanched and shocked and we blitzed it to a puree and wow, look at that colors come through now. I would like you to continue stirring oh, while yeah. I get the next ingredients ready. I have some samosa pastry, which we've rolled out. So it's, it's a basic pastry. It's flour, celery seeds, oil and water with a little pinch of salt. And you roll it out into an oval shape. And all I do is cut in half. I'm going to fold the cut bit over. This is a Punjab samosa mm -hmm. and... A generous portion of filling. A generous portion of filling. And all you do is run a little bit of water around the edges. Fold over and gently squeeze. I've pre-made a few of these extras, so we're going to deep fry them now. Whenever you're putting anything to the deep fryer, always put it away from you so it doesn't splatter towards you. Okay, so Charles, do you want to give that a little bit of a stir so they move along? Okay, so how long should I leave this in the oil for? Eight minutes on quite high heat. Okay. As you can see, the oil's quite bubbling. So I'd say about 180 degrees. That's beautiful. Should we start taking them out? Oh, wow, these look so beautiful. Golden brown pockets of delight, I can only imagine. It smells amazing too. All I'm going to do is pop that on, just randomly. A few sprigs of coriander. Once again, let me guess. Chaat masala. How do you guess? <laughs> I've made a sweet tamarind and cumin chutney to go with. Ooh. This dish is done, so let's get on to the next one. We're going to start off with some ghee, which we're going to add and melt to the pan. Turmeric powder, can you smell that already? Add a little bit of chanas masala, garam masala, coriander powder, and our Kashmiri spice. So you can give that a quick whirl around, a little pinch of salt, and the next we're going to add in ours, our parboiled potatoes. You can boil them or you can bake them in the oven until that's nice and coated and a little bit of crunchiness coming through. And then we add in our chickpeas. The chickpeas are boiled until it's soft. Add some of that and give it a good stir. Cut lemon and a few drops of lemon juice. We've got some fresh coriander and all I'm going to do is give it a few chops. You want it nice and rough and add that. Oh, that is amazing. I'm going to switch that off and I'm going to bring the pastry baskets, the kachori baskets, which I've pre-baked and we're going to fill that while it's still warm. We're going to put a good spoonful off and then to that I'm going to add sweetened curd and some tamarind chutney, a sprig of coriander and Signature chaat masala. Another dish down. We're not done yet, so let's get on with it. We are going to be doing the chana magaj. Chana magaj is chickpea flour that we're going to be using. So I've weighed out our chickpea flour and it goes into our big bowl. A tablespoon of the ghee, some milk. And we, I'm going to add the milk a little by little and using your hands. This is the messy part, but the fun part. And all I'm going to do is just get it into sort of like a bread crummy stage. Set this aside and the next part is we're going to get our ghee on the stove. We're going to add the bread crumbs. You want it to be a bit light brown and brought in together so it moves away from the side of the saucepan. I'm going to take this off the heat and add the cardamom powder. I'm going to add a few grates of the nutmeg. And we'll add in the icing sugar, just little by little. Ideally, what is the texture that you're aiming for? It's almost like fudge. That's the texture that you're looking at. All I'm going to do next is take a good dollop and roll it quickly on my palm. And you want to work quick, quite quick with it because you don't want it to melt. And I'm going to pop it into little... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's it. So would you like to help me oh, with? Oh, please. Okay, so it's a good dollop. Roll. And then into a cup it goes. Oh, that's a good one. To finish them up, I've got some edible gold leaf. Gold. We're going fancy. We are going fancy. Perfect way to welcome in new beginnings with Absolutely. a bit of gold. Absolutely. And a new bright future.
That looks so pretty. And now, Michelle, let's go feast. Oh, cannot wait. Plating and presentation are just as important for snacks as any other dish. And Vani transforms the table into a feast for the eye.